Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones this morning? So um, yesterday was kind of a disappointing day. Uh, you know, we had a trade work out, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. But um, before we get there, let's just get our levels in. So levels to the downside are pretty intense. Okay, so these tails, you've got this inside tail, that tail, and these two tails. So those, that is my zone of resistance right now. So I would expect us to get by stepping in in this area. Okay, um, we've also had a strong move up and one, two, three. So we've had a two moves to the downside. And I just want to see whether we have a measured move. Okay, so measured move kind of um, target is still open, which would be the second, this 25, 270 area would be the measured move target. Okay, so that's still open. Let's get down to some levels that we can actually trade. So um, let's start off with uh, yesterday's summary. So yesterday we had diversions. Okay, you can see how the MACD was moving up, oscillators grouped to the bottom. And then we had uh, price basically, well, we were creating lower lows, pretty much a double, a double bottom. Um, we did get a break of this area here, which is what I was looking for, but the break failed horribly. Okay, and uh, what I failed to notice yesterday was my levels to the upside. So we just take my one hour uh, pin bars, you see there's a tail, and there's a tail, and there's tails. So that was my level that I should have been, had drawn in, which I did not have drawn in. Um, okay, and you can see how price interacted with those levels and we immediately bounced off it. So uh, during the open, this 12 minute pin bar off the level would have been your, your signal bar for a short and ridden this thing down. Anyway, I failed that, that test completely. Um, so the diversion did play out and we still did get a reasonable trade. I mean, you wouldn't have lost money on this trade. You would have made a hundred odd points and uh, your breakout would have been above this fractional level here. You can see the fractal break would have been above this red line, the teeth. So that would have been a valid fractal break and your stop would have been below. So your risk to reward here was pretty much a 37 point risk. And uh, that would have been your first target for 60 points. And then actually what you should have been doing is targeting this breakout retest. So it should have been a 90 point trade. Anyway, be that as it may. What we have at the moment is more diversions, okay? And we have, um, we still have a measured move available. So we've still got a downside target of 25271. So just be careful for that. And um, we've also got another level to downside of 2525. So 25250. So for me, I am looking for longs still. Um, the trend is up, so you know, bear in mind for me the four hour the trend is up. And um, you may be asking, well, we've broken below the 20, so the trend is now down. Well, I'd like to see a retest of the 20 failure before we move to the downside. So I will trade, still trade in the direction of the trend, and ultimately we need to break below the swing low here for the trend to actually change. So we need a, a lower low, but to low 25, 100 for the trend to actually change. So for now, the trend is up, although we are below the 20. I'd like to see us retest the 20. If that retest is successful and we move the downside, then I will change my tune and we'll be looking for shorts. But for now, I'm still looking for longs. Okay, so that being said, I am very reluctant to go short when this kind of action is happening on the oscillators and uh, you can see the price action pretty much pretty close to level so what you may find is it will consolidate and then drop into the zone find support and then rally off okay so 12 minutes is my chart for today and i am looking for a breakout of that fractal level so i'm looking for a breakout of this fractal level which would give me an indication that we have some upside. And 
Let's not make the same mistake as yesterday. So this is our first breakout level. Let's just give it an hour. So you can see that's the tails. And then you have a, another level inside it. So you have that tail and that tail and this tail. So that is my support zone. Now if you look at the hour, you can already see uh, you've got tails to top, tails to bottom. So there's a lot of uh, barbed wire, a bit of indecision happening down here. So ultimately, still looking for a break above this level. And what I'm expecting to happen is we get a break above here. So this kind of thing. So we move from where we are now. We break above that fractal level. We find some uh, resistance here. We move to the downside. We find some support. And then move to the upside. Okay, so this is kind of the, the play that I'm looking for. So um, not really interested in going long on the break of this fractal. Uh, the break of the fractal will give me some kind of confidence, but uh, I want to see a bounce off here at the downside, create a higher low, and then that would be my entry to get in long. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for today. You can see we are in a Bollinger squeeze. So... We'll have to wait and see what happens at uh, between 8 and 9 and we'll see if this thing, the squeeze does open up. If it does open up and you break the fractal, the first pullback will be main tree long. Okay, hope it helps and uh, stay safe. Keep those stops tight and enjoy your day. I'll catch up later. Goodbye.